Cool. I'm going to kick off two builds, and I'm going to explain what this is in just a bit. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Ram. I am Chief Evangelist at the Cloud Foundry Foundation. Uh, but today, I'm here on a slightly different capacity. I'm a self-proclaimed BuildPacks um, evangelist, and I wanted to um, showcase what BuildPacks can and cannot do um, to the community. So the reason I wanted to give this lightning talk is because a lot of folks here seem to be interested in learning about uh, what BuildPacks are and what they had to offer. And so I thought it would be a good um, chance for me to introduce this to the community. I will start with a confession, though. I'm not a big fan of the title that I made up, um, because something doesn't have to be dead, and something else doesn't have to be a long live um, in order for it to be interesting to the community. But I think it's the, it's the trend now. Um, but it's definitely better than the other title that I had in mind, uh, because uh, Docker files definitely um, seem to represent a kind of cognitive overhead for like a lot of software development teams, especially those that are trying to build platforms and trying to make a use case for very homogeneous uh, builds and things like that. So a little bit of history about uh, build packs. So build packs were pioneered at Heroku about a decade ago, like I remember the first time I did a git push master Heroku um, kind of thing, and it it really was a bit of magic the way you know my code went into like the Heroku um, dinos or whatever, and then it came back with a URL. And so since then, uh, build packs have been used a lot by. Uh, the community at Cloud Foundry as well. And uh, it has been very successful in sort of porting this experience of, you know, here's the source code, convert it into an immutable artifact that we can deploy, and here's a way to deploy that to you. And so today, uh, that has taken a new shape and a new form in this era of containers and um, cloud native technologies, and so cloud-native build packs are a thing. So if you go to buildpacks.io, it's a CNCF project right now. Um, it's been very actively worked on by a ton of companies, and so it provides a way for engineers to containerize their applications and have them deployed without having to write Docker files and maintain them, because they can obviously be a bit of a, an overhead. So what I kicked off at the start um, were two deploys. So they were both for like two different languages. So like the first one that I kicked off was for like a Node.js app. And the second build that I kicked off was for a Go application. So the, the hipsters and the nerd speak, right? So um, what this ended up doing was to create two containers. And then the commands that I used to do that was just pack, build, and give the container a name. So pack is basically the CLI that does the containerization. And then you have to configure pack with like one of the builders. And so builders are available from Heroku, from Google, uh, through a project known as Paketo, um, which is a Cloud Foundry Foundation uh, project. And basically, it creates this build out of the source um, that you have. So the point being um, is you didn't have to create an alternative metadata file that had details about what the dependencies are, where is the entry point to the container, what are the other uh, things that you needed. So it was, it's, it's a very convenient way of building um, containers. And these are all exported as OCI containers. So they could go to um, container runtimes of your choice and You, you can watch them um, you know, run and um, actually be functional. So I'm going to try and get these to work in the next 30 seconds before Chris kicks me off stage. But um, essentially, you, know, you can use these in your local uh, development workflows. You can work, uh, use these in your um, CI, CD pipelines. Um, what have you. So if you go back to the browser, um, open up like localhost 80, uh, 
I'm going to try 81 first. Hmm. So, right, so, so the container is running, it's functional. My demo didn't quite break, so happy with that. So check out more about the project. There's obviously a lot we can do in terms of getting folks to contribute. Um, this can work with your favorite CI, CD tools, what have you. It works with a lot of platforms, and there's a ton of people that are making use of it. So thanks. Thank you. All right, thank you.